Welcome to the briefing on the occasion of the visit to Chisinau by Ms. Roberta Mezzola, the President of the European Parliament. The floor is offered to Maya Sandu. Dear President Mezzola, dear Roberta, welcome to Chisinau. It is my pleasure to see you this time in the Republic of Moldova and continue the important dialogue that we have with the European Union Parliament. For me and my colleagues that a few years ago have dis have aimed at changing the way politics is made in Moldova and alongside that to change Moldova itself, the European Parliament has been and continues to be a symbol of European democracy that we are being guided by and to which we relate. The Parliament of the European Union has always been on the side of the citizens of the Republic of Moldova, which fight for freedom and fairness. The institution that you represent has always been with us in the most difficult times for our fragile democracy. Subsequently, the European Parliament was the first European institution that has said clearly and loudly that supports us in our efforts to obtain the status of a candidate country. I firmly believe that the resolutions of the European Parliament on this topic, especially the resolution approved on the 23rd of June 2022 with a majority of 529 votes by which the European Legal Forum has opted for granting without delay of the status of a candidate country to the European Union, to the Republic of Moldova and Ukraine. And this has been a strong argument for the favorable decision of the European Council, which has been approved the same day. In this context, I would like to remind what I said in my speech uh, that I have had in the European Parliament in May. We made this choice being inspired by the aspirations of our citizens. We chose to join the European Union as a path towards freedom, prosperity and peace a path that will require a lot of work, a lot of coordination and goodwill, but which deserves each of its steps. Today, on behalf of all our citizens that wish to live in peace and prosperity and decide their future on their own, I would like to thank you for the chance of becoming party to the European family. The permanent and ongoing support from the European Parliament in good times, in hard times, has been vital to maintain our country on the path of democracy and for supporting its European aspirations. This support has come both through approving the fine funding programs proposed by the EU institutions, as well as by supporting democratic initiatives, the initiatives of the civil society and the independent media. European members of parliament had always been next to us when corrupt groupings have captured the state of the Republic of Moldova, putting it to the service of the oligarchic interests, eroding the interests of the state and undermining our European dream. In this more complicated period of our recent history, the European Parliament has sent monitoring missions to defend, to, to keep, to protect our fragile democracy and has drawn the attention of the entire world on our most burning issues, compromise, justice and systemic corruption. Also, our friends from the European Parliament, where we have a total support today, for which we are very grateful, have supported the people that have committed to fight against corruption and fight for a clean justice. Thank you for having supported our hope, which has helped us win. And we count on equally strong and solidary support in the future. We need support in the following steps that we will undertake to integrate our country into the European Union, including for conducting the reforms that will bring us 
into the EU much sooner. We do need support to overcome the dramatic consequences of the war that the Russian Federation has uh, broken out against its neighbors and friend Ukraine. A war in which tens of thousands of innocent people die. A war where the strategic infrastructure of the country is destroyed and the economy of a country in ascension and development is destroyed, while millions of Ukrainians had been forced to find refuge in the entire world to to save themselves from death. Mr. President Metzola, this war has proved to all of us once again that European integration is the only path for a peaceful development of our country and the only chance to survive as a democracy. Joining the European Union may offer us the future that we are striving for, where every citizen feels safe and can fulfill its potential, where the markets are not politically conditioned and the young people enjoy opportunities in education or business. European Union is based on respect for human freedoms, uh, dignity, democracy, rule of law, human rights. All these values underpinning all European policies representing the building blocks of the European integration. We fully share these values and we wish to be able to ensure their full respect here at home. The citizens of the Republic of Moldova are European in their thinking and their actions, and this has been proved by their fight for democracy along the three decades. It has been proved through the pro-European, anti-oligarchic and anti-corruption vote at the last elections. They have acted in the true European solidarity spirit when they have opened unconditionally the doors for hundreds of thousands of refugees from Ukraine. Our citizens are European also by the way they work and integrate into the European Union countries where many have left for better living conditions. We want to ensure these good living conditions here in our country and thus convince as many of our co-nationals as possible to come back home. And we can succeed that with the support of the European Union together to develop Moldova in the European family, making it a better place for us, for our parents and for our children. Thank you. The floor is offered. The floor is offered to the President of the European Parliament, Ms. Roberta Metzola. Good morning. Uh, let me start by thanking you, President Sandu, 